Okay, so in the last in the last post we've seen uh, this uh, window here with uh, a background in Im image that fits the window and this surface in blue here. Now let's go on and let's uh, try to make something more like a sprite and to move it on uh, and on the window. So let me delete this and um, I just wanted to. Um, to load an image of a cat and into this cat folder here I wanna show you is this one and I wanna load this one idle idle one so idle one and I don't need this and this Okay, now um, as I call this one uh, cat, you see here I stretch it to the just like the window, but I don't want to stretch it, so I'm gonna ju just blitz. it on the screen. At the same position of the at the same position of the cat and um, Um, let me see here. Okay, cat is this pie game image here. Screen bleed square and screen bleed cat. It should work. Don't know why it doesn't work. There it is. Uh, so you see that the square behind it's not uh, uh, like the image of the cat. So I'm gonna get the sides of the cat image by doing cat get sides and you know cat sides equal cat dot get sides. So this one will contain the sides of the of the image of the cat there is 67 so now that I have the cat sides I'm gonna make the square of the same sides of the cat so I'm gonna make it the surface of the cat cat sides and uh, if I wanna avoid making too much, I, okay, I make it this one, and so now you see that the, it has the same sides. Now, what if I want to get the position on the on the screen, this X and Y? To make this, I wanted to. Create a, a simple class called cat with the uh, x and y but okay let's make it very simple for now so now we want to substitute here with cat cat x and cat dot y now this class is simple a name that can that has two attributes that can be you can access two with a dot so 
cat dot x is 100 a cat dot y is 100 so now you see that they all fit together and they are here so the next thing that you want to do is to move this this thing here and um, we want to before the pygame.display update before the while loop we are going to create a pygame dot time dot clock object and fix the frame rate this way with clock dot tick to 60 so now to move to move it after the quit statement here you're gonna say that for event in a pi game dot event dot get if event type equal pi game um, dot key down if event key dot key is equal to pi game dot k right we want to move our cat so cat dot cat dot x um, plus equal one then we must let's see what happens equals and equals you see that when I press the left the right arrow it moves of just one pixel we will see how to make it move until I press the key right and just one time but let's add also the left button that will be minus equal one so right and left see it goes right and left if we want to be more visible let's make it 10 so you see it's more visible now not very satisfying as kind of movement but it moves otherwise well you don't have to see that that square behind the cat just can go like this okay the square we will use it in another video we'll see what we can do with that surface behind uh, let's go now up and down up now up it means on the y axis and it means minus 10 and instead it's when it goes down because it starts at zero zero on the top left corner of the window when it goes down it increases its y axis when it goes down so k down is the key on pay game so k I just have made a mistake here this is minus equal 10 otherwise it will change the position and not increase the position so you see it goes down goes up and if you press both you can go in diagonal okay diagonal. that's all for today for creating a sort of sprite class very 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 basic with just the attributes of the position and a moving very simple moving uh, kind of user inputs um, uh, user uh, a listener here so it's very simple and see you soon in the next video to make something more complex